Uh, hello everybody. This is Yoko's Anime Reactions and I'm testing this to see if it'll work. Uh, let me make sure that this is turned on first. Uh, yep. <coughs> okay. And for some strange reason I completely forgot about one of the endings for Seduce Me. The harem ending and I played it and- <laughs> If you guys want to see me play it and see it for yourself, you'll have to obviously like the video. Cause I figured I could, and then that got me into doing more, watching more. I watched some people play that ending, and they all had the same freaking reaction, freaking out. And I was like, I gotta finish this because I ended up finishing let's play. Uh, my last play of Seduce Me, The Otome for Sam, you know, going through the whole thing, but I didn't do the epilogue or Seduce Me 2. If you guys want me to do that after I do this one, I hope so. Now let's get it. Okay, let's see if it'll open. Come on, open please, and let's get this working. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. For some reason it's wanting to be slow with it. Anyway, um, this is gonna be Sam's epilogue, Shall We Dance? And I know exactly what happens in this episode. Episode. I guess you could call them episodes because there's one for Sam, one for James, one for Eric, Matthew, Damien. There's a couple of other ones, there's a few other ones, like one involving Sam and James, um, here we go. You know, there's supposed to be some kind of extra little button Michaela always adds to these. Come on. I guess not. Uh, options. Um, full screen, please. I'm gonna probably regret doing this, but I'm gonna go on ahead and play through it and hope to God that it records. Uh, let's start. I always- I'm gonna go with the same name every time, that way it's consistent. I always do the same. It had been two years. Two years since my grandfather passed away, two years since I met the boys. Oh. Oh god, you guys really don't want to see me do Seduce Me, the Otome, the Two, the Demon War on Sam's Road. Oh. <laughs> There's just so many funny and awkward moments in it. From the beginning to like in the middle to a uh, sad one in the end. Yeah. Two years since Sam and I shared our. You did more of the kissing girl. It may have been. Oh yeah, uh, yeah that, but it may have been forced, yes, but he was still my first and my last, yeah. I grew to love this man and held no doubt about my affection for him. He might have seemed intimidating to some, but inside he was a sweetheart and was as gentle as a feather. Considering it, Sam, yeah. Only to you. <clears throat> I felt warm every time I thought of him, a smile following afterward. Sam... As his image appeared in my mind, my heart fluttered. Sam had decided to join the police force, and he had- <laughs> Oh god, don't put that image in my head. He had used his handcuffs very well. Oh god. Oh boy, don't get my mind in the gutter. Embarrassment aside, he would always come home and proud to have caught a criminal or have stopped a fight. I was so proud of him and always praised him enough to make him go red in the face. He was so cute like that. <laughs> considering it's Sam, I'm not surprised he went into the police force, considering, well, his strength and his speed is very useful in that regard, so, yeah. He would always smile, though, in the end. He cherished me beyond anything else in the world. I was happy, and I never wanted my story to end. No surprises, no problems. On a day off, though, something surprising. Oh, I forgot to mention this, guys. Um... Uh, when it comes to recordings, I might not be able to 
record anything for the next um, month or so because I don't know if Head Start is going to stay open because the school system is already closed for the month because of the whole uh, coronavirus thing. As for Head Start, I'm not sure because they weren't sure if they were going to go with the school system on this one or still keep the head doors open. And if they keep the doors open, the kids will still go to Head Start. If not, then they'll be coming staying home. Oh god, I'm gonna go get- I'm gonna go insane. I am gonna go insane. I was cleaning the kitchen- oh wait, did I turn off the- hang on. Um... Did I turn off the- Oh! Hang on. Did that help any? Uh, I don't know. Oh wait, no, I think I missed- that's what I'm hanging on. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I was quick in the kitchen, humming my favorite Rise of the Phoenix song to myself. Dinner was quick, but having a clean kitchen was important. Oh, 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 that made it bad. Hang on. Hang on, uh... Okay. Uh, my mind wandered to what had happened at dinner. It was peaceful, but Sam barely said a word to me. It might have been because he was tired, but Sam was a lot more vocal at dinner time. What made today different? I wonder why. <coughs> However, just as I finished cleaning the last utensil, something zipped past me like lightning. I looked back and tried to see from my memory if I could get a detail on the fast-moving shadow, but I came up with only one answer. Sam? New reply. It had to be Sam, though. Who else would do this? Who else would even be in the house? Uh, what happened to the others? Did they not live there anymore? And if something passed through that fast, it had to be Sam, because he's the fastest of the, four, of the five brothers. I quickly washed my hands and tried to run in the direction the shadow ran towards, heading into the dining room. I gasped slightly. What the? Draped over a chair was a sign. From the handwriting, I could tell that it was Sam. He tried to write legibly enough for his message to get across. He still had some work to do, That I read the sign as best I could. <coughs> you have a surprise in your room. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to check the settings on this. A surprise? What was going on? Was this some kind of booty call? Or was this a trick? I think if it was a booty call, he wouldn't have to put a sign up. He'd probably just tell you. Oh, he's trying to be sneaky about it. I still don't know. I think these are supposed to be right. Sam, what are you up to? I decided to go along with this. What was waiting for me? Would it be a desperate Sam? Would it be a gift of some sort? This wasn't like Sam at all. And yet it had Sam written all over it. He practically wrote this sign himself, oh god. I walked through the lobby and headed upstairs to my room. I felt a pair of eyes watching me, but I ignored it. If Sam was watching, then he'd uh, watch me follow his directions to the roughly written letter. My bedroom door was closed, despite me leaving it open the last time I left it. Odd. I slowly opened it, mentally preparing for anything. I wasn't prepared enough for what was there. I saw a beautiful jade-colored dress laid out on my bed. It gently glimmered in the light of the room, showing the grace of its regal fabric and design. Hang on. I keep on missing with it, but it... It, uh, looked like a princess gown, yet it was definitely a modern dress. It was like a large prom dress, but I wasn't going to prom. Yeah, you're not- <laughs> you don't have to worry about that anymore. Stepping further into the room, I noticed my bedside table was covered in different jewelry and accessories. On the floor was a pair of gorgeous jade heels that sparkled in the light of room. Do you even wear heels? <laughs> I could never wear heels. I'd be falling over all over the place because I got bad balance. Sam, if you're around, what is going on? I tried to speak out, hoping he ne was nearby to hear me. I didn't hear a reply. Sam, what is going on? This is beyond anything Sam would do. I would never imagine him laying this out for me, yet my heart fluttered at the thought, possibly being very true. My mind began to imagine him seeing me in this dress. <coughs> His face would turn red, but he would give me that silly grin and call me pretty. 
My lips curled into a very happy smile at the fantasy thought. He usually calls you doofus. I stepped towards the dress and gently lifted it up. It was perfectly made for me. The tailoring was custom with no tag on the collar. Uh, considering Eric as a fashion designer, I can imagine him making it. When did? What distracted me was a note falling out of the dress and onto the floor. I quickly picked it up and read it again. It was in Sam's sloppy writing. <laughs> Please get dressed and wait to be escorted back downstairs. Okay. I stared at the note in complete confusion. Wait to be escorted? What did that mean? Were we going somewhere? This whole thing left me with so many questions. I began to rethink following the shadow from the kitchen. He... he better explain at the end of all this. I muttered before slowly stripping down and slipping on the dress. It was indeed perfect, form-fitting and princess-like. A quick zip and suddenly I was royalty. Oh, considering, um, you're dating a incubi prince? I looked at the mirror at myself and couldn't stop staring. I really did look regal. Whoa. <clears throat> I stared at myself. How was I able to look like this from simply putting on a dress? Good question. I'm guessing it also goes with your eyes as well, because her eyes are great. I slowly started to add accessories and some of the pieces of jewelry. Once I put on the heels, I felt that the world around me was almost too dreamlike to be real. This was from Sam? A small knock tapped on my door, and I quickly rushed over to open it. Let's see how this sounds. Oh, James! I stared at James, dressed in his servant garb, greeted me, and held out an arm for me. He was in on this? Well, yeah. <laughs> he had to have somebody to help. Someone had to help Sam plan this. James, what's going on? James didn't reply, simply smiling and nodding at me. Oh, really? This ain't helping. Nodding for me to take his arm. I slowly took it, even more unsure of what was happening. He guided me to the lobby where Eric, Matthew, and Damien waited for me in their servant garbs as well. I gripped at James' arms tighter, now very nervous. What was going on? Yeah. You'll find out. I still- No sound in this is kind of making me wonder if it's not recording it. We climbed down the stairs before James gently lowered my arm and joined his brothers. Everything was slowly become a f becoming a fairy light fairy tale dream and my mind had a hard time wrapping around it. <coughs> Excuse me. Before I could speak though, the boys lowered their heads and raised their arms in unison towards the dining room archway. I turned my head and gasped. Wow oh my god his face <laughs> He looks very uncomfortable in that. Oh my god. Dressed in an extremely handsome prince scarf was Sam, staring at me with those a surprised expression and a blush on his face. The blush on his face is probably from seeing you dressed like that, and I'd say the ex I was gonna say the expression was him being uncomfortable, but never mind. I felt the blush rush onto my own face at the sight of Sam. He looked really handsome, and my heart was racing just from looking at him. Uh, this had to be a dream. Sam gulped slightly before walking over and holding out his hand. I gotta watch- I'm gonna watch someone wa playing this later just to make sure that the sound is working. I stared at it and slowly reached out and placed my hand at his. Sam smiled before gently bringing it to his lips. His hand was quivering. That's not like Sam. <laughs> he don't quiver. Why? You look amazing. <laughs> okay, now it's- now I know it's working. Okay. The voice acting came through. I heard it. And I'm sure you guys heard it. Almost dropped it. <laughs> I stared at Sam as he looked at me with his lips on my knuckles. My blush grew hotter on my face, making him chuckle softly. I leaned back up straight. He didn't let go of my hand, however, and gently pulled me towards him. Okay, let's see if this is gonna sound right. With the music. Because there is a little music. I looked up at Sam as he smiled and rested a hand on my waist, lifting the hand he was holding beside us. I naturally rested a hand on his shoulder, raising an eyebrow. There we go! Then music started to play. Okay, so it's it should be coming through right. I swear I'm gonna freaking pick at this thing because it's bugging the crap out of me. It was the song I recognized and it had become Sam's personal favorite, only plucked on the piano. I looked over to the direction of the sound, barely seeing Eric playing a portable piano in the corner of the room before feeling Sam tighten his grip on me 
making me look back at him. Well, shall we dance? Cue title screen! <laughs> <coughs> oh god. James's um, episode, little epilogue, ep extra episode is gonna be, oh god, awkward. It's not like this, it's just, it's something completely different, but it's something that you wouldn't expect from James. I stared, telling every single dancing nerve in my body that this was indeed real before nodding to Sam. Like a fairy tale, he and I began to dance in almost perfect unison. He gently guided me around the lobby, waltzing with me with a tender smile on his face. I couldn't help but smile back despite my mind being completely lost in what was going on. His smile always made everything okay with me. Well, yeah, you're kinda dating him, so of course he makes you feel safe. And also him being a police officer ain't gonna ain't hurting things on that one either. Each step we took was perfectly timed with the music. I didn't doubt Sam had these skills because he was an incubus, and it seemed so uncharacteristic of him to be able to be so prince like. Cause yeah, he's known as the brute, so him being such a well, prince, <laughs> despite him actually being a prince. It's so odd. Sam, what is going on? We're dancing. What does it look like, doofus? There we go, there's the doofus. That smile is. <laughs> well, we are, yeah, we're dancing, yes, but... She wants to know what the heck, why? Before I could continue, the room slowly began to melt and get darker. Whoa, that's... Uh, how did that happen? Sam kept leading me through the dance as the room around us began to turn into the night sky. The stars were brilliantly lit with the moon being the largest light in the sky. I felt myself grip onto Sam tighter before looking around. Yeah, I can understand that. We were dancing in the sky under the light of the moon. Our feet touched the air if it was merely the floor as we watched to echo music. It more than likely is just still the room. Cause I can imagine them using their, pa their powers as, inc as incubi to make illusions. Speaking of air, I slightly looked down to see the- Oh! Oh, never mind, never mind. It actually is a sky. That would be freaky. Speaking of air, I slightly looked look down to see the mansion far below us. We were very high up in the sky. I couldn't help but tighten my grip again onto Sam, who chuckled in response. Sam! What? We're in the- We're in the sky. Yes, I know. Doofus. <laughs> you don't have to come on me that. But what if- I promise, I won't let you fall. Yeah, if you did, you'd get a real big smack in the face. I looked up at Sam to see him with a serious expression. Our dance became a simple way sway as he gently moved his the Can I talk? Move the hand on my waist to caress my cheek. I naturally closed my eyes and nuzzled into it. What? Why is he wearing gloves? What? I would never let you fall. I'll be by your side. Always. There's a reason Sam was doing all this. And you're about to see. Hmm? Sorry, my mom and dad would go shopping and they bought a ton of stuff because um, we still don't know if we're going to be quarantined. And if we are, we obviously can't go out and buy groceries. So they kind of stocked up. His words echoed through my body, making my, bo my heart feel warm and light. I felt incredibly happy that he was like this. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I almost didn't want to ask anymore about what was happening. Everything seemed too perfect that even the smallest doubt might break the stream. Yeah. I didn't want this dream to end if it was one. Yeah, I can kind of understand that. Sam gently led me back into a dance, smiling once again to get into me. When did you learn how to dance? Yeah, where? <coughs> <laughs> Sam let out a small laugh and twirled me before returning me to our waltz. James taught me. It took forever, trust me. But I think I got it. It's not too hard. I would, I would love to see how that would go, because I think that Sam would get frustrated at having to dance, and I'm sure that one of the guys would have to step in to be the girl. And that would be kind of awkward. <coughs> Especially if it ended up being James, because James would be kind of, um, a bit of a perfectionist, probably, with that. Yeah. Yeah, he's an amazing dancer. What time was it? Three o'clock. 
My words rendered him speechless. He's <laughs> he's blushing again. <laughs> he stared down at me and blushed while trying to continue our dance. You're so important to me, you know. I would assume so. And you are important to me, Sam. I mean it, though. No one has ever made me feel this way. Ever. I never even thought I'd be like this, but... Sam? Soon Sam slowly stopped us from dancing, letting us stand in the night sky like nothing else mattered. Sam stared down to me a look of pure seriousness covering his face, which is... I, I love you so much, alright? You make me feel... Like a man, not a monster. You're so freaking important to me. I just. <coughs> Sorry. My heart was beating faster than I thought possible. Sam gently lifted my chin and leaned down, laying his forehead against mine. I want to be worthy. Yeah, you already are. Yeah, you are, Sam. I love you too, you big idiot. I know exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, yeah. I might use that picture for the thumbnail, I'm not sure. Maybe? Sam closed his eyes and smiled. I could feel my heart warm and my eyes began to water. He was everything I dreamt of, everything I wanted, everything I needed. I loved it. Sam then slowly lifted my left hand and kissed over my ring finger. For a second, I heard him growl. So why would he growl? Before whispering, "Screw the tradition, I'm a demon." Okay, what you gonna do? Huh? Let's see. Ah, uh, this goes. I watched as Sam kissed the back of my hand, then over my wrist. I could feel my energy. Gently circle and vibrate at the touch of his lips. I watched as a very subtle, gr as very subtle green marks began to draw themselves over my hand, almost like watercolor paint, as chains. They circled around my wrist and continued to circle around my hand once, twice, three times. At the fourth, it wrapped around the base of my ring finger. The marks began to glow gently before fading into my skin. On my ring finger, however, appeared a gold ring with emeralds and diamonds. It glistened in the moonlight, glimmering as. Blech. It's brilliant shine at the many stars that surround us. I looked up at Sam who had a small smirk. <laughs> yeah, he did that the demon way. <laughs> if you don't say yes to marrying me, I'll never forgive you. Oh, way to go about it bluntly, man! <laughs> I instantly began to cry, feeling my entire body warm up in joy. Sam held my hands to his chest, letting his smirk melt into a genuine smile. But yeah, will you marry me? I want to be yours and have you as my own forever. I know I'm not on one knee or whatever, but I'm a friggin' demon, so like... <laughs> yeah, you don't have to go with human tradition on this one. <laughs> I didn't let him finish. <laughs> I instantly jumped up and wrapped my arms around him, kissing him deeply. He gasped against my lips before slowly wrapping his arms around me and kissing me back just as deeply. Well, I think that's kind of her answer. <laughs> Every ounce of his love shoved itself to me, showed itself to me in that kiss. I felt like I was in heaven, just kissing him and being in his arms. It, he was who I wanted to be with, and who I would, con and, uh, and I would continue to love him and be his for the rest of our days. I cannot talk today. <laughs> As we gently pulled away, I smiled, tears still gently rolling down my cheeks. Yes, Sam, I will marry you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the uh, this was the epilogue, guys. Is the proposal. I wonder why they didn't do that with the rest of the guys, or at least have an episode for that for the rest of the guys, but whatever. I still like- <laughs> I still like James is one of his freaking out of love field. Sam smiled wildly before hugging me close. His embrace was tight and I could feel him almost shudder in pure joy. He was as happy as I was. I love you. I love you too. And that was my happily ever after. Yep. That was the epilogue for Sam. And I hope to God that it recorded. Please. I don't want to have to record it again. <laughs> anyway, I'll get to work on it and I'll see you guys next time.